हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू टीचर्स हेल्प बोर्ड हेलो चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी विल लर्न अ न्यू टॉपिक इन मैथ्स बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट्स इन ज्योमेट्री सो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट पॉइंट्स लाइन सेगमेंट एंड लाइंस रेस प्लेन्स पैरेलल लाइंस कोलिनियर एंड नॉन कोलिनियर लाइंस कॉन्करेंट लाइंस एंड इंटरसेक्टिंग लाइंस point a point determines a location a point does not have any size a point has no length breadth or height for example point a point of a pencil point of a cone point of a square a point is shown by a tiny dot a point can be given a name capital letters of the alphabet are used to name a point the points s f and n are shown in the figure next we are going to learn about line segments and lines the word line refers to straight line a line has no width it has just length a line can be extended in both the directions for example take two point p and q on a sheet of paper and join them using a ruler we get the straight line p q in mathematics when we say line which means straight line the first line we drew was only from point m to n it is a segment of the longer line a line segment has two points showing its limits they are called end points we write line segment m n as segment m n in short M and N are its endpoints. Next, we are going to learn about rays. The part of a line that extends indefinitely in one direction from a point is called a ray. It has only one endpoint. For example, sun rays. Rays starting from the sun go forward in all direction. Its starting point is from sun. but its light rays goes to all direction second example torch light light rays from the torch also starts from a point and go forward continuously in one direction a ray is a part of a line it starts at one point and goes forward continuously in the same direction the starting point of a ray is called its origin here j is the origin an arrow head is drawn to show that the ray is infinite in the direction of k the figure can be read as ray j k the ray j k cannot be read as ray k j now we will learn about parallel lines lines which do not meet or intersect each other are called parallel lines lines are parallel if they are always in the same distance and will never meet for example railway track notebook lines lines which lie in the same plane but do not intersect are said to be parallel lines now we will learn about intersecting lines if two lines have one common point they are called intersecting lines two lines intersect each other in the above figure line l and line m intersect each other at point p these are the examples of intersecting lines now we will learn about collinear points three or more points are collinear if all of them lie on the same line in the above figure point s point t and point u are collinear because they lie on the same line and the line l next we are going to learn about non collinear points points which do not lie on the same line are called non collinear points as shown in the figure above point x point y and point z does not lie on the same line so all the points are called as non collinear points next we we'll learn about concurrent lines when two or more lines pass through the same point they are called concurrent lines and the common point through which they pass is called 
the point of concurrence. Now we will learn about plane. Look at the pictures. What kind of surface do you see? The surface in the first two pictures are flat. Each flat surface is a part of an infinite surface. In mathematics, a flat surface is called a plane. The name of the plane in the picture is H. Even though we draw a suitably small figure of the plane, it actually extends infinitely on all sides. Arrows are drawn to show that the plane extends infinitely in all directions. Hope you all enjoyed the session. If you like this video, press like button, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get the daily notification of our channel. Thank you. Keep supporting us.